Uh, Ronald D. Miller. Uh, I'm professor of anesthesia at the University of California, San Francisco. Well, ironically, uh, I grew up 90 miles from Chicago uh, in South Bend, Indiana, where Notre Dame was, is, I should say. And uh, I went to Indiana University undergraduate. I went to Indiana University for medical school, and I decided to go out west for my internship, which I performed in uh, Southern California. And uh, went to San Francisco almost on a lark and interviewed for an anesthesia residency and I was asked to accept a position there which I did and that's uh, how I got started. The book is now with Elsevier but um, it started out with a company named Churchill Livingston and over time, there's been consolidation in the pub publishing business, and, that, and so now it's Elsevier. So uh, in the late 70s, uh, I had a career of doing research, clinical care, and teaching, and was advised, do not write a book. And the CEO of Churchill Livingston uh, approached me and stated that there was no comprehensive book in the specialty of anesthesia. Uh, it was tried in 1970 or so, uh, but it failed under this publisher's uh, leadership. So he tried again, and I told him I wasn't interested. And then he came back to me and said, if you did do it, how would you do it? And I said that and you should have the leading experts in all the fields write chapters and um, they need lots of credit uh, so I would put their names on front of the book and really give them because they are the leading people that's how I do it but it, it's not me and so about four months later he came back to me and he said he's talked to all those people to this day I don't know whether he really talked to all of them or not but that's what he said and uh, he said they would agree to do it if you uh, edit it. And so that was my start. Uh, That's uh, how I got sold on doing it. There are many answers to that, but uh, to me the most important one is that when we started, anesthesiology as a specialty was in the operating room the immediate perioperative period, and maybe a little bit of critical care. So now we uh, press forward, and, and it's, so it's now 30 years, and the specialty has uh, metastasized into all sorts of areas, uh, in, including the entire perioperative area. So the preoperative evaluation, the intraoperative care, the postoperative care, uh, critical care units, uh, pain, the management of pain, pain clinics, uh, all the postoperative pain now is managed by our specialty. And so in the old days, the surgeon would make rounds and uh, take care of the patient. Now, uh, the, in, in the tertiary hospitals, we take care of the pain and then in the last few years, we've moved, um, the specialty has been a leader in patient safety and this, out of other specialties, and it's also been a leader as acknowledged by the Institute of Medicine and pushing forward with uh, me measuring efficacy, uh, actually measuring when uh, we are not doing so well with regard to our care. Uh, and now databases in all specialties are being formed from which we can actually analyze how frequently we do well or not do well. So uh, those have been huge changes uh, that have occurred in the last 30 years and the book tries to take that into account.